was the night before the night before Christmas, and all through the ice path, there lives a rare Pokemon that many bypass. Deli Bird is its name, and it spreads Christmas joy. A penguin with a red coat and a sack filled with toys. A peculiar Pokemon that's widely obsolescent, learning not but its signature move, the tempestuous present. Present is a move that not many can get, but what its effect? Oh, 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 you will never guess. Sometimes it deals damage, sometimes it gives life. But is this fickle move worth all the strife? Like the holiday around it, does present have Christmas spirit? Does it spread merriment and joy to all who use it? Or is it a ruse fit only for a fool? A terrible move, just a worthless tool. As the very fate of Christmas hangs in the balance, I'll do the math, the algebra, the calculus. We'll soon have an answer, the truth you will know. So without further ado, Richard, hit that intro. This video was voted on by all my patrons. If you want to vote on future video topics or even suggest some of your own, then click the link in the description down below. And now to be fully transparent with you all, I'm making this video the week before Christmas, and things are pretty busy around the Chiptide HQ, so we only have two days to write, record, and edit this whole video. But that's totally okay, because finding the average base power of Delibird's present is super simple. All the information that we need is right here in this table. Just so everyone's on the same page, I know it isn't the most common of moves, Present is a normal type physical attack that can only be learned naturally by Delibird, though there are some other Pokemon that can get it with uh, egg moves and things like that. Every time you use it, its base power will be randomly chosen. 40% of the time, it will have a base power of 40. Pretty bad. 30% of the time, it will have a base power of 80 pretty average, and 10% of the time, its base power will be 120. Very strong. But here's the catch. The remaining 20% of the time, it will heal the target, your opponent, for 25% of its max health. To figure out if the risk is worth the reward, all we need to do is take the weighted average of all these base powers. As an example with a simpler move, let's look at Magnitude. Like present, Magnitude has a bunch of possible base powers with a probability associated with each. If you just take each base power and multiply it by its associated probability, then add all the resulting numbers together, you'll find that Magnitude has an average base power of 71. Now, that doesn't mean that you'll get a base power of 71 every time, or that it's necessarily even more likely than any other base powers, but it does mean that if you use Magnitude a whole bunch of times, you'll deal around the same amount of damage as you would if you used a 71 base power move that same number of times. So, while Magnitude may have a chance of dealing more damage than Earthquake, in the long run, you're probably better off with old reliable EQ. All right, that's easy enough. Let's just do the same thing with present. Starting from the top, we do 40 times 0.4 plus 80 times 0.3, then add 120 times 0.1. See, this is a breeze. And then lastly, we just... Huh, right. So with the heal, we run into a bit of trouble because, well, it doesn't deal any damage, so it doesn't have any base power. But not only does it not deal damage, that would be pretty easy, we could just plug in a base power of zero, but it actually heals the target. So in a sense, it's doing a negative amount of damage. That in itself, 
wouldn't be too bad. I mean, from a math standpoint, finding the base power for a negative amount of damage is as simple as busting out the game's damage formula, plugging in the amount healed for the damage, solving it backwards to find the base power required to deal that amount of damage, and then just throwing a negative sign in front of it, and boom, you've got your effective negative base power required to heal that amount of damage. When I spell it all out like that, it, well, it actually doesn't really sound all that simple at all. But trust me, compared to what I actually had to do, this would have been a cakewalk. For you see, the real kicker here is that present heals based on a percentage, while damage works based on straight numbers. Let me explain. Say you have an attack that dealt a total of 50 damage to a Pokemon with 100 total hit points. Well, you would have dealt 50% of that Pokemon's HP. Now, say we use that same attack, same base power, on another Pokemon that has the same defenses, only this one has 200 HP. So you still dealt 50 damage, but now that same 50 damage only takes 25% of the target's max HP. In this same example, a heal from present would recover 25 points of health to the first Pokemon, but 50 points of health to the second Pokemon. So the effective negative base power of the present heal, if you want to think about it that way, changes based on the max health of whatever you're attacking. And that's not even mentioning the fact that a Pokemon with higher defenses will take less damage from the times that present deals damage, but will heal the same amount every time. There's also resistances and weaknesses, special abilities that change your stats. As you can see, it gets pretty complicated, and the deeper you look, the more difficult it gets. So in order to solve this little healing conundrum, I built a calculator. This was supposed to be the easy week. Now this may look complicated, that's because it kind of is, but allow me to explain how it all works. Starting from the top, on the left hand side we have the target Pokemon, and on the right we have the attacker, that's Delibird. These first four rows are dedicated to stats. Just fill in each Pokemon's base stats, EVs, IVs, nature multipliers, and level, and their in-game stat will automatically be calculated in these yellow boxes here. Then you just enter if your present is benefiting from the same type attack bonus, and if it's resisted or super effective, and then it will automatically calculate the negative base power of the heal on present by assuming that you dealt damage equal to negative one fourth the target's maximum HP, plugging in all the other variables that you just calculated up top and using those to solve for the effective base power, which should come out as a negative number. And then to round it all out, it will plug that into the weighted average equation that we started this whole thing off with, and it will give you the average base power of present in that specific given situation. And since it's the season of giving, I've included a link in the description down below where you can use this very calculator yourself. And no matter what opponent you find yourself up against, you'll know whether or not it's worth risking that juicy present. But I hear you, giving you a bunch of work to do to find your answer isn't a very good gift. You clicked on this video to find out if present is a good move, and I'm here to deliver. I've taken the liberty of running through a couple of different scenarios to capture the full range of present's abilities. One to find the lower end of its power, the worst case scenario, one for present at its absolute strongest, and one right down the middle. Let's start with the latter, just to get a sense of how strong present is in a typical battle. In this example, we have the world's most average deli bird. His name's oh, probably John, facing off against the world's most average opponent, probably also named John. So that begs the obvious question, what is the most average Pokemon? A tough question that I've tried to answer in some form or another before, but this time it's actually quite simple. 
See, the only stats that we actually care about for the Pokemon we're attacking are its HP and defense stats. So I grabbed a list of every single Pokemon currently in existence with all their base stats, as you do, and calculated the overall average for base defense and HP among them. This shows us that the most average Pokemon from a defensive standpoint will have a base HP of 70 or 71 and a base defense stat of 74 to 75. This narrows the field of possible candidates to Mega Sceptile, Lilligant in either Unovan or Hisuian form, Vullaby, and Tapu Lele. What an eclectic bunch. So let's say that our Delibird is attacking one of these Pokemon, it really makes no difference which one, and plug those base stats into the calculator. I don't have time to go into all the EVs and IV stuff here. If you're watching a video about Pokemon math, I'm assuming you're at least familiar with what they are, and if not, well, it honestly doesn't matter. EVs range from 0 to 252, so for our average Pokemon, let's split that right down the middle at 126. And IVs range from 0 to 31, so let's pick 16. If we do the same thing for Delibird and set both Pokemon at level 50, then by the power of spreadsheets, we have our answer. In the most average of scenarios, the heal on present will have an effective base power of negative 110, resulting in an overall average base power for the whole move of 30. So it sucks pretty bad. Interestingly, if you adjust the levels of our Pokemon, then the base power changes slightly. If both Pokemon are level 100, then the average base power drops a bit to 28.9, I mean, not a huge change, but if both Pokemon are level 1, then the base power jumps to 47, which is actually somewhat respectable for a level 1 move. So, when you're at super low levels, present might not actually be such a bad option. And by lower levels, I mean below 5, because after that it's just flat out bad. The one attack in the game that represents the spirit of Christmas loses all of its magic after you turn five. Merry Christmas, folks. Looking at the pure numbers, I mean, sure, you've got a 20% chance to heal your opponent a little bit, but you've got twice the odds to hit them with an 80 to 120 base power attack. That sounds pretty good. But as it turns out, those heals are going to be a lot more potent than you'd like. Combine that with the fact that Delibird kind of sucks, and even those base 120 power attacks aren't going to hit super hard, and in the long run, it turns out that you'd be better off using Scratch. Ah, but Delibird isn't the only Pokemon that can learn present, I hear you say. Maybe the problem lies not with the attack, but with the attacker. And you know what? You might be onto something. And I didn't make this whole calculator just to use it once. So let's find out. As it turns out, the strongest Pokemon that can learn present via egg moves is Miltank. <laughs> um, actually, Azumarill has a higher base attack stat with its ability huge power. So, ah, nope, nope. I see you typing that comment right now, but I checked and you're wrong. Since Miltank is a normal type, it gets the same type attack bonus on present for 1.5 times more damage, which winds up being more beneficial than huge power. Alright? Alright? You ain't gonna get me with any of that today. If we keep the defending Pokemon the same, but swap in an Eevee and Ivy trained Miltank, assuming both Pokemon are level 50 again, just to keep it even, then we find that present now has an effective base power of 69. It's actually 68.5. That's a little better, I mean, still not as good as the 50 other stab normal moves that Miltake can learn, but it does show that the bigger the difference in power between the attacker and the defender, the better present gets. So what if we took that to the extreme? The spirit of Christmas may yet be saved. To push present to the absolute max, we need the strongest attacker to use present on the worst 
possible defender. If you add together every single Pokemon's base HP and defense, then you'll find that Wiglet is the worst Pokemon of all time, both defensively and in terms of design. I mean, what the heck? What the hell is this thing? Busting out the calculator, a present from Delibird on a Wiglet has an average base power of 50, but we all know Delibird sucks, so I don't even know what it's still doing here. No, I think I know what you're all waiting for. You want to know the maximum possible average base power for a present. And I just so happen to have the answer. The strongest present thrower known to man. This fat cow hurling a box at Wiglet with absolute trash base stats will have an average base power of 77. Which, which, which I mean, is, it's usable, it's not terrible, but it's also worse than the move that they literally force you to give one of your Pokemon for like the first six generations and people still pass on it. So that's it, folks. Even at its very best present is complete and utter trash the one move that represents the spirit of giving and holiday cheer of peace and goodwill towards men is terrible it's deplorable it's unforgivable but worst of all it's not optimal this was supposed to be a fun little video to make in the spirit of the holidays, but all we've learned today is that this whole holiday is a sham. Christmas isn't about giving, it's about winning. And if you're using present, then you're losing. So you know what, oh, Richard, you were planning on going home for the holidays, huh? You want to be home for Christmas? In your dreams, folks, Christmas is canceled. There'll be no singing and laughter, no holly and jolly, no gifts, no decorations, no hoo hash, only more work. Bah humbug. Look, I tried, I tried to give this move a fair shake. I would have loved nothing more than a heartwarming holiday message to find that the best way to win a battle is to give a little gift to your foes. But all I found is the grim reality of the world. That all your hopes and your dreams are completely meaningless. So you know what? Screw present. Screw finding out how strong it can be. I want to know just how bad it can get. Let's stick with Delibird as our attacking Pokemon. We all know this Santa Claus bird sucks. The most defensive Pokemon from an HP and defense standpoint is Zygarde Complete. Uh, um, actually, Mega Steelix has a higher defense stat and it resists present. Wouldn't that make it a better defensive Pokemon? No! No, you fool! Steelix has such a low HP stat that the heal on present wouldn't be all that bad. Trust me, trust me, you imbecile. I did the math, and the Earth Pokemon Zygarde Complete is the worst possible target for present. You're not gonna get me. Idiots! If we plug these stats into the calculator and we give Trash Deli Bird the lowest possible stats and Zygarde the highest defense and HP we can, then we find that Present has a laughable base power of negative 85. Ha ha ha! Oh, 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 oh! I mean, you're literally healing your opponent at that point. And it's not just a little healing, the highest possible base power was only positive 77. I'm sorry if I've crushed all your hopes and your dreams and holiday cheer, but the math doesn't lie. This move is so bad that it's more capable of healing your opponent than it is defeating them. It... But maybe, maybe that's just it. Maybe it was never meant for attacking your enemies. It's meant to support your allies. Of course this move is better at healing than it is hurting because that is what Christmas is all about. It's about coming together. It's about spreading joy. It's about giving gifts to those you love and making the world a happier, healthier place. One tiny step 
at a time. I can't believe that I've been such a fool. Oh, Richard, Richard, my boy, what day is it? The 23rd, oh, oh yeah, right. These videos don't take that long to record. But it's Christmas Eve Eve. I haven't missed it. The math has done it all in one night. It can do anything it likes. Uh, of course it can. Of course it can. It's shown me the true meaning of Christmas. Present is a good move. Not for how much damage it can deal, but for how much damage it can heal. I, what? What's that? What, what the? Bah humba! A massive thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon, including Alakazam, Ethan Ferlano, and Sherry and Mark. Present may kinda suck, but you all are pretty great.